darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desaluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed. Are we living and loving for this old number? This is an old Versace dress in collaboration with none other than H&M, baby. I live for it. It fits and I said, why not? These earrings are so gorgeous. It was Christina who gifted them to me and I live and love. Darlings, we have a meeting greet in New York City Brooklyn to be exact and if you do not have your tickets because we are hitting capacity whoop, that will be it mama that will be what that will be it having said that you do have options I live and I love options you can have breakfast with Fumi yes darling yes 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 you can have lunch with Fumi fabulosity and the dinner Oh my God, did I mention the menu? The menu is flawless, flawless. Thank you so very much to our sponsors. Thank you to Healthy Hair Studio. Thank you to Color Dream, to Juvia's Place, to, to Gemma Candies, to Gerard Cosmetics, to Sane, to, to CTC Candles, to Esther's Beauty, Esther's Beauty, Esther's Beauty Baby Oil there's something like it that's all i can say our catering the food the decadence you know what you guys have to just say you know what for me you're a big mama sitter because you really take care of us we're having music we're going to kiki it's going to be fabulous you can come and shop the vendors in the morning at 8 a.m they will be there so you can have the healthy hair studio experience i'm not mad at you baby when i tell you i am rocking this hair there is not a single person man woman old young that does not come to me i kid you not and say for me you cannot look fabulous you kind of looked quite quite fabulous and i say yes darling i get it the hair healthy hair studio the flawlessness is beyond and she's coming to new york city for the very first time there are a lot of firsts in this one because you can also use my discount code for the very very first time Go right ahead, my darlings. I will see you out where? In New York City. For those of you that are preparing for your trip and you need to get a flight and you need to have a hotel room, look no further than the Sabali Global Travel. Martin is the CEO. He will hook you up like he has hooked up about 25 of us, including myself. When I tell you I'm living and loving, <laughs> I am living and loving. It's just so exciting. I cannot wait to see you guys and just be out there in my old city i cannot wait we are going to go live every single day so you will be following the experience but guys let me tell you one time last time once we hit capacity it is out of my hands i have booked this place and this is all that they can take once we hit it that is what that is it copacetic copacetic it is if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, go right ahead, darling. Book the consultation. I have one week left and that will be it. Send me all of your brands. Send me all of your businesses that you want promotion for. This platform is free. We don't charge. It's your platform as well as mine, actually. And so I do this for you guys in, in a way of saying thank you. Why are we here? We are here because people are just passing away. People are passing away. My, um, my, my teens, my 20s, all of these folks that I lived and I loved are just passing away. And it's just, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I think I should start with Shannon Doherty, who was um, a member of the 90210. She passed away only at 53. She was two years, she is, well, she was two years younger than I. And she battled cancer for 10 years. She had just signed her divorce papers the day before she passed away. And it was unfortunate. It was also unfortunate with Luke Perry, who was also another cast member. I lived for 90210, just the way I lived for The Hills. It was the show at that time, the way Sex and the City was at a certain time. And I am sorry that she did not live to grow gray hair and see her grandchildren. I am so sorry and I extend and I send my deepest respect and love to her family, my condolences. 
um, it's just sad. I was sad. It was sad. It was just sad. It was the memories. And uh, again, my deepest, deepest condolences to her family. Fitness legend Richard Simmons passed away at 76. He had become a recluse for about 10 years. And it's again sad because I remember my mom working out to Richard Simmons. He wasn't that old, 76. People are living longer these days. And again, it was sad because he was so full of life. For those that knew him, he was such a personality. You would think that he would live forever. You really would. You would think that he would live forever and he'd be out here, you know, having fun. He was just a light. Perhaps that's what I want to say. He was such a light. And again, may he so rest in peace. I extend my deepest condolences to his family, to his friends, to those that knew him. I just remember waking up in the mornings, I knew, hearing his voice, as so many of you have said of mine, I knew that my mom was working out, and I knew that she was working out to Richard Simmons. And those were wonderful days when we didn't lock our doors, we played outside, there wasn't any social media, there wasn't anything, it was such, it was such a wonderful time. And I think, in many ways, for everybody, when those people pass away you feel as if a part of your past of your childhood also passes away and you're grateful for the memories you're so grateful for the memories we're all going to pass away and we're all going to go and um oh, it's a sadness it's just it's just a sadness um yesterday was it yesterday, I think, yeah. I woke up to find out that Kobe Bryant's father, Joe Jellybean Bryant, had passed away at the very young age of 69. And it brought tears in my eyes. Kobe's passing hurt me. Uh, I didn't understand it. I asked our father up above. I asked him, I said, I don't, I don't get this one. I don't get this one. I never met him. I didn't know him personally. Um, he passed away with his daughter and I think three or four other families that were going to a game. It was such a loss. And do you know, I was, um, I wore a, a, a tracksuit and I was in the tube here in London. And I was on the phone, I was very oblivious of what was going around me. And there was a guy on the other seat and I looked up, I don't know, I just felt his eyes on me. And he said, you remind me of Kobe Bryant. And right there and then, the tears just flooded and we talked about him and everything. I know that he was not, I know that he had a challenging time with the parents. I know that the parents didn't come for his wedding. And yet somehow, I feel as if the passing of Kobe hit the father. We don't know what goes on behind the scenes. We don't know how things turn around or perhaps they had even made up towards the end because they were at the service that Vanessa had um, after his passing. It was just sad because it reminded me of Kobe that went too young, way, way, way too young, just too young with so much to do with a seven month old daughter. It makes me grateful. It makes me humble. On Instagram, you have like a little bubble and it says, how do you feel? I'm 55. I have a wonderful marriage. I have a beautiful son. I have a happy life. I love what I do. And uh, my family is healthy. I am healthy. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Health is wealth. And when you know, you know. As if that was not enough. Here come 
another passing, popular Atlanta dancer, DeAndre Cottrell. PhD student, the popular Atlanta dancer, one third of the Ski Boys dance trio was found by police after his disappearance from his sister Alabama home. The family of Contrail claims that he went to check on his dog, who was afraid of the 4th of July fireworks, and never returned. Cottrell's boyfriend, who was the last to see him alive, began exhibiting strange behavior following Cottrell's disappearance, and by morning he was gone. Police have since ruled Cottrell's death as homicide, and the family is searching for answers. Could finding his partner be the key to cracking the case? You can imagine. I mean, Shannon was not well. She had cancer. And we know that Richard Simmons also was not very well. Um, Kobe's father passed away via stroke. But I'm talking to you. And I say, you know what? Hold on, let me go downstairs and answer the door because it rang. And I don't come back. That is a shock. That's a shock to the system. That is a shock to everything. That is a shock to, it just kills everything. It affects everybody in such a huge way because the first thing that comes out of people's mouths, but he was just, but he was just, but I just saw him, but we were just on the phone because there was no warning. There was nothing. You feel robbed. You feel that his life was stolen from you, from those that loved him. I was just observing that a lot of people had just passed away. Just It wasn't giving me, it wasn't giving me, it was just making me feel some kind of way. And I just thought, let me come out here for us to remember them. Remember them in your prayer and be grateful. Be grateful for what we have. Be grateful for what we sometimes might take for granted. And um, live every day. Live your life. Live your life to the fullest. Live your life to the fullest. I'm really beginning to see that. And I'm enjoying it. And you know what I'm doing? Because I'm a workaholic. I love what I do. I love working. I love what I do. I love it. I love it. But I'm realizing, Fumi, you have to take time out for yourself. You need to rest. You need to hang out with your family. You need to be zen. You need to meditate. You do your yoga. I'm doing Pilates. I am really beginning to understand you have to have a balance you have to have a balance and if your energy is not right about somebody or something or some place don't do it don't go don't pursue the relationship pull all the way back those are the red flags go for your checkups regularly go for your mammograms also for the cervix. Ladies, it's so important. It's so important. It's so important. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the notification button, my darlings, and I will see you in New York. All of my love.